Today I got a selection of Nether Enhancing Mods. It's just 5 mods and none of the real big ones, as they will get their own video. So ahoy you guys and welcome to some Nether Enhancing Mods for 1.16.5 Forge. We even have some Fabric Mods today, so be excited. Infernal Expansion. Okay, here we have a perfect example. This mod is just extraordinary, but it isn't done yet. As of this version only a few mobs are added and all of the really scary biomes will be added later, as this is a project that is made by volunteers. Mobs. Voline. Volines spawn everywhere in the nether in groups of 1 to 3. They are hostile mobs but are scared of piglins. If you hold magma cream, they will stop attacking you as it's their favorite food. Any entities that has a fire resistance on them will be devoured by volines, as the potion is made out of magma cream. Upon death, you will be granted with gold nuggets. Shroom Loin. A new mob in the Crimson Forest is the Shroom Loin, a neutral mob that will only attack you if you provoke him by damaging the forest or his life. While exploding, they will produce lethal poison which will spread around the explosion. Warp Beetle. In the Warp Forest, a new passive mob will spawn the Warp Beetle. If it's attacked, it will teleport away like Enderman. And the Soul Sand Valley and bodies will roam around trying to catch anyone that's still alive. Those souls will try to pull you with them into the eternal sand. They are easy to kill, but Soul Sand Valleys are filled with those corpses, so be prepared for a horde. They will as well attack skeletons and piglins, which is really awesome, as Soul Sand Valleys are covered with skeletons. Lastly, in a Basal Delta X biome, Basal Giants will spawn. These gigantic creatures will kick magma cubes away from their precious home. Don't provoke them as they are really strong and will shove their feet in your face. The only way to escape them is to find a crack where they can't touch you. There are also some building blocks made out of glowstone for your deco desires. But this was the first release of the mod and in the near future the next one should be ready. It will add a ton of new items as well as new biomes. Nether Portal Spread just a quick mod I wanted to give you guys. Whenever you will now activate another portal, the evil power from the nether dimension will spread to your overworld. To disable that, place either 4 coal blocks within 30 blocks or break the nether portal. The spread will infect blocks around the portal, transforming them into evil ones like netherrack or soul sand. It depends on what type of blocks you have around it into what it will transform. Upgraded netherite. Maybe you remember this mod, it lets you upgrade your netherite equipment, but it changed as it added more features. Firstly, it adds netherite shields and horse armor. Just upgrade them from diamond. They work like the diamond tier. But yet now you can even upgrade golden and enchanted golden apples to netherite. The netherite apple will grant you damage, hunger and slowness, but as well strength too and fire resistance. The enchanted netherite apple again damage, hunger and slowness, but fire resistance and strength 4, which lets you even shoot two shot pillagers with your bare hand, bruh. Now we get to the main features of the mod. You can now upgrade your netherite equipment to be granted with certain buffs. In total, there are 8 different equipment sets, which you need to combine with 4 new materials and then upgrade your netherite gear. Goldarite. Combined with golden ingots. Piglins will become neutral with the armor. Your whole tool set will be increased by one looting level, but if you get looting 3, you will even get another plus level. This applies to the whole tool set. X and Sword will have plus 2 damage against brutes. The horse armor adds another looting level. Shields can inflict damage against piglins while blocking. Blazerite. Combined with blaze rods. Play and horse armor will be granted lava immunity and increased speed in lava. The tool set has auto smelting, but the axe and sword will also have the damage increased against entities that aren't fire immune, and fire aspect will inflict more damage. Shields can inflict damage against mobs that aren't immune to fire. Enderite, combined with ender pearls. The horse and player armor prevents both the player and the horse from dying in the void by teleporting them. Keep in mind, if you don't have the armor but only your horse, you will still die. The player armor will as well hinder enderman from getting angry. The tools will teleport loot to a chest if you bind it with a right click. Sword and axe will have increased damage against enderman and prevents them from teleporting for 10 seconds. This is the same effect for the shield. 
with the right, combined with the one with the skull. The horse and player armor makes it immune to the wither effect. The sword and axe have a chance to inflict the wither effect. This also applies for the shield. Spider right, combined with eight spider eyes. Player and horse armor are immune to poison. With the player armor, you are even able to climb walls, and the sword and axe have a chance to poison enemies. Again, the same for the shield. Phantorite, combined with phantom membranes. The player and horse armor are both a full damage immune, and you even get increased step height for the player one. If you hold a tool of the Phantorite set, all entities will glow, and your reach is increased. For sword and axe, the damage against phantoms is increased by two. While blocking with the shield, you can inflict damage to phantoms. Feather right, combined with eight feathers. Horse and player armor will be granted with slow falling, and you are able to walk on water as well as on lava. All the tools will attract items to you, disable that with sneaking. While blocking, you have a chance to push away all nearby mobs. Prisma right, increased water speed and water breathing for the horse and player armor. The sword and axe will have increased damage against mobs, immune to fire, and enderman. And all tools are granted increased mining speed underwater. Soul Sand Life. Before we continue, I want to show you this small mod. Soul Sand Life adds some new Soul Sand related items. As a full new armor set made out of Soul Sand. And a really epic looking sword. Unfortunately, it isn't balanced just yet, as the Soul Sand sword is as strong as Netherite, and I think with some tweaks, this could be a good mod, as in my opinion, just using Soul Sand for armor that's nearly as strong as Netherite is too much. It has a low durability, as you can see here, but still, I would rather say lower or equal to iron, as Netherite tier is a bit too much, cause you can easily get Soul Sand. But what I really love about this mod is firstly the sword. Just look how epic the model is! And the second thing is the Soul Sand mob, which now spawns in the Nether. If you cook soul sand, you are able to get the edible version, which you can use to tame that little guy, or you can eat it yourself. When the soul sand monster sees you, it will start attacking you, shooting fireballs. If you tame it, you are able to give it a name, and that's actually all. It will teleport to you and try to defend you. Netherite Plus If you want more Netherite related items, this here is the perfect one for you. It adds special items as Netherite beacons or shulker boxes instead of trying to modify the vanilla equipment. Before we start, all of these items are immune to lava, so I don't have to say it again and again. Firstly, in the right sugar boxes. These don't burn in lava and are available in all colors you could desire. The right fishing rod gives double durability and the best, you can fish in lava, which allows you to get awesome loot such as gold or even ancient debris. The right elytra even grants you 4 armor points. The right bow and crossbow is a more durable and very highly configurable item. Its damage can be commodified in the config. Fake netherite block. Just a fun item, but instead you need to use 8 iron blocks and 1 netherite ingot. Prank your friends! It even adds netherite horse armor and netherite shields, by the way. A more advanced version of the anvil is made purely out of netherite. <laughs> so if you're rich, you can afford this one. But it reduces the XP cost by 50%, which is just phenomenal. With the netherite trident, you are able to rip tide out of lava and water, and the damage it inflicts is configurable. Lastly, the netherite beacon. If you have too much netherite and don't know what to do with it, then try to make a full netherite beacon. This one can have up to three effects. The first two ones are the same as vanilla, but with the last one, you can decide between region 2 or glowing, which will inflict glowing to all mobs in its radius. It also comes with the new lava vision effect, which grants 0.25 blocks of vision each level of effect. Well, this was today's video. I hope you enjoyed this small selection of mods. And uh, now I would say we'll see us in the next video, which will be a very special one. So I hope you will enjoy it. And um, now, just have a nice day. Ciao!